We're in the garden room at Charleston, and this is where Vanessa Bell and Duncan Grant lived from 1916 until their deaths in the 60s and the 70s. And they hung the rooms with their own works, but they also hung works by their friends and their peers. And they would move things around and they'd borrow things and things were always changing. So for this winter, we've borrowed 13 paintings from private collectors, very generous collectors, and hung them in the house all over the place. So you'll see a whole different look to Charleston this winter. This work is a particularly interesting one. This is a painting by Roger Fry of E.M. Forster, painted in 1911. And E.M. Uh, Forster was sort of on the cusp of his great success. He just had Howard's End published the year before. So you see elements of works by Cezanne creeping into his style that he's exploring and experimenting with how he's representing his friend. In Kleibau's study, we have a still life by Duncan Grant, painted in around 1920, 1921. It's all painted in brown colours, quite spaced out objects. And it's, it's almost like he's moving away from those post-impressionist paintings, the sort of full of colour, full of, full of sort of uh, voluptuous shapes into something more, more sombre. And it's, it's that kind of part of the return to order after the end of the First World War. It used to hang in the room in Kleibau's study in the 1970s when Duncan Grant was living here. And it's wonderful to have it returning back from its private collection in the USA. So across the corridor from Kleibau's study is the dining room. And in there, we've got a, a lovely painting by Vanessa Bell, painted at Charleston, probably in the dining room, a coffee pot. And a, and a cup. It's a, a wonderful bold painting. It was painted around 1916, 1917. And you can see the armchair that used to sit by the fireplace there. So you can imagine this very cozy evening drinking coffee in the dining room. If you go upstairs and you go into John Maynard Keynes's room, you see an early still life by Duncan Grant from 1913 called Cyclamen. And it is a uh, incredibly exuberant painting. You sort of feel the energy that Duncan Grant has has got from seeing these post-impressionist paintings and how he's really experimenting and working through the ideas that he's getting from seeing these paintings. He would have seen his friend Clive Bell bought uh, an early Picasso, one of the first to be in private ownership in the UK. So he would have had a chance to really study them. He would have seen them in the, in the post-impressionist exhibitions. So really working through all these new ideas that he was seeing. So in the studio, we've got a wonderful early example of Duncan Grant's experiments in collage. A still life from 1914, another coffee pot, a breakfast scene. And he has taken these collage elements, these pieces of paper, and used them to create form, but also texture on the surface of the painting. And this is very exciting to have this very rare piece uh, at Charleston for the winter. So these 13 works on display at Charleston until March 2022. And it really is an exciting opportunity to see new works in the house and also to see these these rarely seen works from private collections.